Hello. Welcome to Deep Soul Tarot. Welcome back if you are returning, my Deep Soul tribe. For those who are new, I am Kelly. Today we're going to be doing a, a, a twin flame read, and it's going to be a collective read for the twin flame situation. Right now, excuse me, I messed up my little platform here. This is Remy, for those who don't know, my new mascot and the new member of the Deep Soul tribe. Remy is my assistant, and Remy is here to remind you to subscribe and join the tribe. Just go hit that subscribe button right now and hit that bell button, and you will be part of the tribe. So Remy is in every reading. He's my assistant. So we're going to do a twin flame reading today. So today we're going to do the collective reading. Um, I will also be doing, you can look out for that, uh, two separate divine masculine and divine feminine. This is going to be a collective for divine um, counterparts all together, twin flame connection all together. But after this, I will be, uh, I will have, um, just a video for divine masculine where they're at right now and divine feminines where they're at right now. Okay. This is a general read, so it may not resonate with all of you. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Now we all have divine, not divine. We all have well, we all have divine energies, but we all have feminine and masculine energy within us. But usually we resonate with one more than the other. So for those who don't know, um, and many of you probably already do, um, but if you don't know, it, your gender doesn't matter. So in a connection, a twin flame connection, um, and this could also apply um, if you are not sure if you're in a twin flame connection, or um, you know, this could also be a soulmate connection. This is like divine connections uh aimed for twin flame but it could also apply to soulmate connections also um it's a soul connection read basically um but you it doesn't your gender doesn't matter you could be a male and have more feminine energy you know or you could be a female and have more masculine energy i am more uh masculine uh i think i have more masculine energy because i'm much very much a tomboy um that kind of thing. So, anyways, just to point that out, just in case. All right. I don't know if I cut the deck already, so I'll shuffle a couple more times, cut the deck. So, we're going to start with some Oracle cards. See what comes out with that. All right. Here we go. Let's see what cards come out in the Twin Flame Connection right now. And moving forward. So whenever you're watching, this is a timeless video, so whenever you're watching this, this is when you are most likely guided to watch it and uh, could very well be a message for you, particularly if this does resonate. That there could be a message in here for you or, you know, your divine feminine, divine masculine. Leadership. Hmm. That's an interesting. Whoa, here we go. Here we go. We, oh, there we go. We have a whole bunch of cards coming out. I'm going to get one more because it's split and I don't know... Which one was supposed to go on the bottom? So let's get one more card. One more card. Can we do that, please, for our peoples out there? Okay, release. Well, 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 look at the bottom of the deck. Love. Love, love, love. Well, that's the... Um, oh, love and going forward underneath. Of course. Now, this is a tw twin flame path. Yep. There's a d divine... Divine timing. That to me could be going towards the light. You know, coming into union. You are on the path to union. Uh, at some point. But love, that's... I love this because in a twin flame connection... Um, I'm sorry, I thought someone hit the door, but I think it's the wind. It's very windy here right now. Um, in a twin flame connection, the one of the best things about that connection, whether you're in separation or not, if you're not in union, there's always love. Both you and your twin have this unexplainable connection and love for each other. So I think that, that part's beautiful. Okay, so I could say we got leadership first, and then we got success. Stand still and release. I'm already hearing messages. You've got to slow down here, spirit. Okay, and then we have... I'm going to hold off on that one. That one came face down. So I see this as kind of like what's going on on the external part of the connection. This may be what's going on um, underneath the connection that either you may not be aware of or um, it's something that's not quite as apparent as these. 
So I'm hearing with these two particular cards, and then we'll get to these, with leadership and success. I am hearing that, and I don't know why, but leadership. I'm hearing that you are in the process of taking um, to whomever this resonates for, and it could be divine masculine or divine feminine, or both. Um, you are taking control of your life, taking more of a command in your life. Um, so being like a, a leadership role, it's almost like leading by example. Right. So say, for example, if you're the divine feminine and you have decided, you know, I hold on just a second. This is a little too loud for me. There we go. The, I had a plane going over when I started this. There was a plane going over, so I couldn't really hear the music. And I usually don't like it quite that loud. It's a little distracting to me. I like it to be background music, just kind of relaxing. Um, so I'm sorry. I had to turn the volume down. And there is, just so you all know, I apologize. You're going to hear planes. I live near an airport, but there's an awful lot of noise going on out there. Um, I don't know what's going on. Someone's doing construction, and a lot of my roommates are home. So uh, we're having a party tonight, so I think they're getting all ready for that. So if you hear people in the background, it's either people next door, it's community center next door, or my roommates. If you hear dogs barking, our dogs, etc. That happens during a lot of my readings, and I really hope I don't get any phone calls. <laughs> I did turn the volume down, but just I hope there's no interruptions. Okay. Moving on, um, getting that out of the way. Um, so again, back to the leadership and success. I'm hearing that you are taking, uh, getting a grip on things in your life, focusing on your life. It's almost, like, again, like you, I, was, I was saying, if you are, let's say, for example, you, you are the divine feminine, okay? Just for example, and it could be either way or both, um, and you have not focused so much on the twin flame connection you're more focused on yourself and your life and getting things in your life uh, working through those kind of things you know and uh, more like a self-love type thing which maybe that's what this love is self-love i mean it could be by having self-love for each of you you can then um, open up even more um, portals and gateways if you will for love between you the more love you have for yourself, the more you fill your own cup, the more you have to share with your twin, which in turn brings you to a closer path to union. All right. So keep that in mind. Um, so I'm hearing that you are, man, it's cold out there. Um, <laughs> um, you are taking a leadership role and leading by example. So your twin, if you have got control of your life, your twin can feel that. And, um, and you are being very successful at maybe you used to, um, think about your twin all the time, almost to the point of obsession. Haven't we all done that? Um, thinking about why aren't we in union? Why aren't we in communication? Why are we in separation? You know, and I think at some point we all have done that or may still be doing that. And for those this resonates for, you have taken more focus on your own self and your own life. And by that, you were leading by example to your twin without even realizing it, if that makes any sense. In the fifth dimension, spiritually, you are almost teaching your twin. Um, it depends if you're like on social media. Maybe you have friends in the same circle. I mean, I don't know how how your twin flame connection is, how much contact they would have in your life, but it's very possible. They know you're successful in your work. They know that you're still being very social. Maybe you're dating other people. And it's this, this connection isn't the main focus anymore. And you're being very successful with that. Whatever you're doing in your life is you're being very successful. Um, you know, it's interesting because I almost feel like this is two separate energies. It's not meant to be that way. Because on one side, you have leadership and success. It's a very strong energy. Over here, you have standstill and release. And I don't know why I'm hearing this because I'm hearing that this, and that's why I guess I use that as an example. I'm hearing this, and it wasn't, this reading wasn't meant to be like that, but I'm getting a strong sense that Divine Feminines, you... On, this is your energy over here. Over here, I'm hearing this is the divine masculine. And it doesn't have to be. You know, you take it as it resonates. Um, maybe this is where you are now and this is where you were before. It could be that kind of energy too, divine masculine or divine feminine. Um, 
So the roles could be reversed. I could have those, but I, for right now, I am feeling that this is Divine Feminine. This is Divine Masculine. Divine Masculines, if this does resonate for you, you're at a standstill at some point. You need to release something. Now, Divine Feminines or whomever this, this resonates for, um, I'm also hearing... They're telling me, make sure you point this out too. This could be uh, leadership and success is where you are headed. But so it could very well be that this could be divine masculine or divine feminine. The divine feminines, because I said this was your, felt like your energy, you could be at a standstill right now and you need to release something first. You know, before you can get into the energy of the leadership and success. So that may resonate for some of you. So let's I'm trying to see if I want to read that separate or read it together. I'm going to read it together. I'm going to read this as if this is both because this is the intention of the reading, divine masculine divine feminine energy. So for some of the divine masculine divine feminines uh you may be at a standstill right now and need to release something before you can move forward. So this is where you're headed. Okay. This is where you're at, but this is where you are headed. Um, and, you know, normally that would be switched around. I'm not going to move it because that's how they came out. So I'm not going to move it. Oh, I forgot about this one over here. <laughs> so this, maybe this will tie this in together. So, for example, if this is the Divine Feminine's Divine Masculine, maybe this is your connection together, which I totally forgot about, the underlying energy. Taking risks... Taking risks. Okay. We're going to start clarifying in a minute here. Um, yeah. This could very well be either of you. Let's see here. I'm still trying to feel the energies as if these are separate or it's meant to be a collective. So, sorry guys, I just want to make sure I get the energies correct. I don't want to just plow through a, a, a reading just to get through it. I want to make sure I have the energies correct. So if you just be patient with me for just a minute. Yeah. Okay. We're going to read it as a collective. Okay. So for some of you, because um, I don't want to exclude anybody, because this, the roles may be reversed here. So take it as it resonates. Um, so for some of you divine counterparts, so this is divine feminine or divine masculine, you're at a standstill and you need to release something. It's And I'm hearing very strongly, it could very well be a karmic relationship. There's some growth that needs to be had. You need to shake some of the <clears throat> um, negative energies. You, you may have that. So, um, I'm going to get clarification for the standstill. What well, can you tell me about the card standstill? And just so you all know, um, I'm going to be doing a lot more Twin Flame readings. I've been feeling this energy to... First of all, I'm in the Twin Flame journey, and I've been feeling my twin's energy and just a very strong energy that I feel that a lot of us are going through right now. And I'm not sure why, but I just I kept wanting to do this. I had Zodiac signs to get through. And I kept hearing every day, you need to do the Twin Flame reading. You need to do the Twin Flame reading. I finally finished the Zodiac readings, love readings. Um, and um, those are done. I just completed Pisces. It hasn't been uploaded yet for you Pisces up there. But it will be this evening. So, um, it will be uploaded. Just in case you're watching this when I uh, release it. So, it will be uploaded. It, so, by the time you see this, it'll that'll probably be uploaded before this is. So, Anyways, disregard that. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you, you know, don't forget to subscribe and hit the, and join the tribe and hit that bell button. Because I, if you're on a Twin Flame journey, I'm going to be doing these pretty regularly. I will be doing collectives. I will probably do like maybe a monthly overview of the month, maybe. Um, I'm feeling very strongly that these are what I'm being called to do, Twin Flame readings. At least right now. So if you're on the Twin Flame journey. But I also do the Zodiac Love readings, too. It's monthly. And I'm going to try to do bi-weekly if I can. Uh, my schedule's getting a little hairy right now, so let's go for monthly for sure next month. But very possible bi-weekly. Just saying. And I will decide. I'll decide at the end of the month 
so I can get some of them done ahead of time. All right, so look out for those. So if you subscribe and hit that bell button, it's just easy. Just hit the button. <laughs> Remy says, I can do it. You can do it, too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Back to the reading. But, you know, uh, do subscribe. Not only would I appreciate that, but I do think that would be beneficial for you because, you know, you don't have to watch every video that I upload. It's it's your choice. So you can see it on your feed and you're like, oh, there's the Twin Flame read. That's the one I want to see. You know, I do daily reads. Maybe you don't want to see a daily read. Okay. I get it. Um, although those can be very helpful. Let me tell you, a lot of my daily reads end up being, they're not necessarily based on love, but they always go in that direction somehow. So especially Monday moods. Monday moods is kind of about our emotions, um, but then it's moving forward through the week. But anyways, um, so subscribe and hit that bell button and you'll, you'll see them when they pop up. Okay, back to this. Okay, so let's see what we have here. We have the Page of Swords, and this is for Standstill only. This is for Standstill only. Page of Swords and Ten of Cups. Okay, so I'm hearing very strongly, Peter, uh, divine people. Divine masculines, divine feminines. You need to get down to the heart of the matter. You need to um, cut through the bullshit. Really, cut through the bullshit. Take care of the situation. You're at a standstill. You're not moving forward. You need to release something. You may even be aware. I think you may be aware of that. Because you got the Ten of Cups here. And... I'm hearing you need to get down to the nitty-gritty. The Page of Swords is very much an energy of... Um, well, no BS. There's, you know, uh, he can be... He's like the investigator. If he wants information, he will do what it takes to get that information. Doesn't, you know... Um, could be You could be spying on your twin on social media. Man, it's cold. i got to close it after this. Um... But stand still. So you're at a standstill. And with this, I'm hearing um, whomever this resonates for, you need to cut through the bullshit in your head. Why are you not releasing this when you know in your heart it needs to be taken care of? It's, like I said, I'm feeling very strongly that it's a karmic relationship. Very strongly. So, and you know, something's not right in this relationship. Um, you have the Four of Pentacles, but it came up in reverse. Um, so when it's upright, it's you're holding on to something and not willing to let go. And in reverse, what I'm hearing is you're being so resistant. You're being so resistant to letting go to the situation. Underneath Six of Swords... Moving away. You need to move away from this. You're at a standstill. Until you move away and let go. Um, you know, stop BSing yourself. I'm hearing that. Stop bullshitting yourself. Stop lying to yourself. You know? Cut through all that crap. You know, um, you may be caught in your head. Um, overthinking the situation so you don't want to let it go. Two of Cups. Two of Cups. Listen to your intuition. This is what I'm seeing is the Twin Flame. This is either the Twin Flame connection, the Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, or this is the energy within you. And you need to balance out your thoughts and your emotions in order to move forward. You need to release something. Okay? What, what can we get for the release card? And again, this could be for either Divine Masculine or Divine Feminine. Okay, so for those that this resonates for, I think you know which one you are. I mean, as far as this resonating. Um, yeah. You need to take control of the situation. Stop hesitating. You're trying to decide. Do I want to keep investing in this? Why? You need to make a choice. There's a lovers. This is the twin flame card. You need to make a choice. Do you want to stay in this karmic relationship? I'm hearing that very strongly. It, it, the longer you hesitate, the harder it's going to be for you. Um, the longer you hesitate, you're not moving forward. You're not able to move forward. It's like having weights on your ankles. You know, I mean, really heavy ball and chain 
uh, weights, kind of like they had in the, like, the old uh, medieval days, you know. Um, it's like a bowling ball stuck on each ankle, and you're trying to move forward. Yeah, you can move forward a little at a time, but you're really not getting anywhere. You're really not getting anywhere because you may be trying to get to, to from point A to point B, and you're not even a fourth of the way there because it's just, you know, you're going to get tired. You can start off going, oh, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. Okay. I was meant to have these, I guess, stuck on my ankles. So they're not, no one's going to stop me. Okay. But just think, if you release the ball in the chain, um, take the steps to have them released, to have them taken off then, um, just think how much easier you will move forward. I mean, that's kind of a out there an um, example but I'm hearing that you you're at a standstill you need to release something you need to take control you need to take control of the situation if you wait for someone else to do it if you're in a karmic relationship if you wait for the other person this may be a codependent relationship and the other person isn't going to leave you know um, I'm hearing that they're a low vibrational energy or they're at a low vibrational energy type person right now and it's just dragging you down and you know, that's, I mean, it's free will. You want to stand still. If you want to not move forward, that's, that's fine. But, I mean, if you're in a twin flame connection and this resonates, well, so much for you can do your twin flame. These karmic relationships are meant to teach us lessons. And it's almost like we're going through trial and error things in life. And if we ultimately want to finally be in union with our twin, and Lord knows how long that'll take. It's divine timing. We cannot force it to go any faster, but you can take steps to in your in your own life and work through what you need to work through and take care of, of business so that you can move forward. And as you keep moving forward and working on yourself and not staying caught in these karmic situations, when you release yourself from karmic situations, that's when spirit says, okay. You learned a lesson here. Let's move forward. Now it's time to move forward. And there may be more karmic lessons along the way. These are lessons that you have not learned in your past life that you are still trying to work through. And if you want to stay at a standstill, you're going to be stuck there. You're going to be stuck. You know, you're going to be like stuck in the mud. And let me tell you, eventually that mud may dry up and you're going to be stuck there and you're not going to be able to move <laughs> at all. Okay, just saying. Okay. Let's do taking risks. So what is the energy of taking risks? Oh, that's way too many cards here. That's just too many. Let me... But this one came out. I'll take this one. King of Swords. You need to be logical about this. Whomever this on the bottom of the deck, the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is moving forward at any cost. Just, I have a mission. I know what I want. I'm going to move forward. No matter what the consequences, no matter the cost. Sometimes that can be detrimental depending on the situation. Well, but then you got the hangman underneath. So what I'm hearing here. Divine counterparts, whomever this resonates for. The King of Swords. You need to make some sort of decision, and you need to be logical about it. You need to think about this. What do you want? Be honest with yourself. What do you want? What do you want? Okay? Not what does the other person want. Or what's going to happen when I make this decision? I would like to be out of this relationship. I would like to move forward. But, no, 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 no. There are no buts with the King of Swords. He's very diplomatic. He's not heartless like the Queen of Swords. But he is the ruler of his, his kingdom. This is my life, my kingdom. I'm going to be true to myself, and I'm going to make a decision. Sorry, I have to do this, but it's what's best for me. Now, do you want to move forward at any cost? Or do you want to hang out and just see what happens and be at a standstill? Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, people, look who's lurking behind. The Queen of Swords. Look who's together here. The masculine and the feminine here is present in the reading. The masculine is saying, okay. So pay attention now because this is for, whoopsie, this is for both divine masculine and divine feminine. All right. The masculine side of you may be, um, we'll get back to those in a minute, may be um, trying to be a little more diplomatic about it. Okay. And, um, saying I need to move forward and I need to move forward, I'm sorry, at any cost. You know, 
or it's almost like you're caught between the two. Moving forward and just hanging out. And along comes the divine feminine energy. Oh, shit. There's, there's masculine energy. I'm going to keep going here. Along comes the queen of swords. And she says, listen here. This would be either your divine feminine saying, listen. I am not going to do all this work in my life and then have you poo-poo around with these karmic people and expect me to hang around for you. The Queen of Swords is um, an energy of basically, basically saying that she's more like, sorry, not sorry. I'm out of here. I, I, she doesn't care. The Queen of Swords is the Ice Queen. She's saying, you cut this person out. This person is not serving you. Cut the person out. Now, depending on which one you relate to, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, um, this may just be, uh, you know, maybe the Divine Masculine is trying to be more diplomatic about it. The Divine Feminine is all, fuck this, I'm out. This is not for me. This is not for me. This is not my person. You know, out. And if you don't go, I go cut you. You mess with me, I go cut you. You resist, I will cut you. you. You best move along. Oh my fucking God. Okay. I, I have to leave these cards out. Because this is just too, too good here. And this is all just about taking risks. Look at this. You have underneath that, you have the King of Wands and then the King of Cups. I need a breath. <laughs> this is just, wow. Okay. Oh my God. Okay. Um... I'm just blown away here. Let's let's start with the uh okay, so let me just slow down here. All right? Let me just back up. Okay, first king king of wands. All right? Thinking with the head, not the heart. Being diplomatic, but making a decision and and not wavering. This is a decision I have made. I'm moving on. I'm moving forward. I don't give a rat's ass at any consequence, okay? That was the bottom of the day. Um then you may rethink and say, well, or do I want to? Maybe you're not even coming to that conclusion. The Queen of Swords says, just do it, motherfucker. Just do it. For God's sakes, you know you don't want to be in this relationship. The King of Wands is all about action. The King, So basically she's saying, you know what? If you're going to be the nilly-nally hangman and just not stand up, get the balls, and just make this motherfucking decision. That's basically her attitude. Okay. You know, if you're going to be this nilly-nally person and not stick up for yourself and not stand up for yourself and you're just going to stay in these karmic situations, I am not going to freaking wait around forever. Okay? I'm moving on. So again, maybe this is the, maybe this is the divine feminine energy. Just saying. Because this is a lot of masculine energy over here. King of Wands. The King of Wands, though, is, is a person who... So she's saying, basically, I don't want the hangman. I do not want the hangman. I don't want this wishy-washy, well, I don't know what to do, you know. She's saying, I want someone who will make a decision and, and follow that decision. I want someone who makes a decision and acts on it. I want somebody who is emotionally mature, not a damn immature, like a little teenager, who is just caught up in the emotions and whatever and just cannot make a fucking decision. Okay? King of Cups. Now, the King of Cups can be caught in his head and hard has a hard time expressing himself but he's gained some emotional maturity you know he's gone from being a young page of cups then he's moved up to the night and then you move up he's a king now get control of your emotions get control of your thoughts this is the this is i'm square this is the divine fan and say get it together come on i'm doing what i'm supposed to be doing but i'm not going to be doing all the work in this situation all right you got to do your own work Whew. Man, that's rough. And just briefly, <laughs> under that is the Justice card. It all will balance out. I'm going to leave these out because this is just too freaking crazy. So now I'm going to combine leadership and success, y'all. Because, just give me a minute. <laughs> I need a drink. And unfortunately, this is a non-alcohol house. So I have a lame soda. <laughs> I also have coffee, but I need something. I need something stronger, but whatever. 
<laughs> we won't go into that. You know, I live in a house so that they don't want alcohol in the house. And, well, damn it, that's where I have to live right now. It's okay. It's not bad living here. And that's, you know, that's a small price to have to pay. Okay. Once in a while, it would be cool. Like, someone's birthday tonight. Birthday. And I, I heard, well, uh, her birthday was uh, yesterday. But um, we're having a party for her tonight because she went out with her daughter and so we're celebrating tonight, and, you know, it would be kind of nice to have a drink or two, just kind of chill, but, you know, <laughs> it's okay, maybe we'll have apple cider or something, I don't know, <laughs> I'm going to have to be happy with cake, okay, leadership and success, all right, okay, do I, okay, I mean, just, just, if you need to pause the video, because I know this is a lot to take in, I'm having a hard time and I'm not even, you know, so if you want to pause the video at this point and just take a breather or even go back a little bit, because believe me, uh, my twin flame situation, because of the energies I feel, I will not only go back and watch this, but I'm going to see if I can find other. So, you know, um, just, oh, there goes a card. Just in case, if you all are interested and I don't want to, I don't want to, um, okay, we'll get to that in a minute. Um, I don't want to promise anything because um, there is a person who he started off his channel doing twin flame readings. He is in the twin flame journey himself. And so he does do, he's back into doing twin flame readings more often now. And he is, has been back going live on Sundays doing twin flame readings. His channel is called divine conversations. His name is Eric. He is awesome. Not only is he fun and so has a great personality, great vibes. He's an excellent, I think he's got a, a very, deep talent as far as tarot excuse me tarot reading i've been watching him for a long time love him he does a lot of live streams and he usually right now he's been doing twin flame reads on sundays live but he is uh currently in puerto rico on vacation but he's still doing some readings but they're uh because of being in puerto rico the internet i guess is kind of wonky so he's having issues um trying to get connections sometimes especially going live and so sunday he may do a twin flame read um, I know they're having a storm come in, so that may affect things too. But just check that out. So, you know, um, I'm all about supporting the other readers here on channel. There's some great readers on here, you know. Um, Elisa Jane, or Elisa, Elisa Jane Tarot, I think she's called. Uh, Elisa, she's great. She is, if you don't like swearing though, um, she's not going to cut, cut it. But, all right. That's my little promo, but, I mean, Eric is awesome. I've been, I watch him every, he, he has um, daily reads. He is awesome. Check him out. Check him out. Subscribe to him too, okay? <laughs> I mean, he's got a lot of subscribers. He's 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 you know he's done very well for himself on his channel, uh, but he is he's awesome. I love waking up to the morning and listening to him. It's the best way to start the day. So, and I hope someday that if you are watching me, that you guys will all do that during the week and whenever I do readings. But subscribe. Um, <laughs> but uh, you know, but I'm fairly new, so you know, in due time, in due time. Um, I can't do live streams. You have to have a thousand subscribers. I do this on my phone, and I guess when you do it on the phone, I do not have a laptop that I can use. I mean, I have the equipment. I have the webcam and everything, but the laptop that I have that someone loaned me because I don't have my own is too old. So, anyways, I digress. So, for the uh, leadership and success, you got temperance in reverse. Something's out of balance. Something is definitely out of balance here. Um... So although I said this felt like Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, that could still stand. So Divine Feminines, if by chance things are out of balance for you, uh, this is all about patience. You're being impatient about something. We know what I'm hearing? I heard that. I screamed in my ear. You are being, it's like, you're, you're, again, you're the Queen of Swords. You are the Queen of Swords right now. It's all about you and your journey, and which is fine. You're, you're, you're powerful right now. But you're, you're being impatient with your divine masculine because I think you know. And this, again, this, the roles may be reversed. I'm just saying that in the beginning I felt feminine masculine. It does not have to be that, though. It can be flipped or you can be both. Maybe you were at this point and now you're over here. So, you know, it's all about your own path and your own. But, for div but divine feminines, um, I'm just hearing that you're the queen of swords and you know your twin is in a karmic relationship and has been and is just, it's lingering and lingering and lingering. And, you know, I'm telling you, as twins, you can feel the energy of the other. And it's not so much get out of that relationship and come to me. It's like, damn it, motherfucker, do your work for 
just, you know, do your work. Why are you not learning these lessons? <laughs> you know, everybody in their own timing. But I'm thinking that this person is just, again, dilly-dallying and just, I don't know. Because underneath you have the sun. <laughs> you have the sun and the victory card here. So, um, I'm hearing very strongly in options. Yeah, someone's having a hard time making a choice. And I think it could very well be the Divine Masculine. Um, you know, but Divine Feminine, just let me just show you the card. You've got the sun. Okay. The sun is a great energy, of course. And so, just so y'all know that this is moving um, in the right direction. It is. It's just that some sometimes the divine counterparts move in different paces, and a lot of times the divine feminine may move because we're more more uh, intuitive and into emotion. We can kind of grasp the twin flame journey maybe a little more than the, the masculine. Maybe. Doesn't mean the masculine doesn't, though. But you're going to be victorious here in time. You are going, and someone's having a hard time making a choice, um, sure. But his slow and steady wins the race. This person is just not at the same pace as you are, divine feminine or divine masculine. It depends, again, if it's reversed. But I'm, again, I'm hearing divine feminine, divine masculine. I'm still hearing that. Okay. So you got the sun in the bottom of the deck. Sun and love. I mean, not bad. Not bad, not bad. Okay, so... Trying to decide which oracle cards I want to dig into first. You know what I'm going to do? And I wasn't going to use these for this particular read. Um, these are the animal messages. Okay? So I'm going to get two. I am going to do one for... I'm going to say Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Okay? Let's just see if we can get... So Divine Feminine first. What is the energy of the divine feminine? What are the animal messages? You know, what message can... As if, as if this was the divine feminine. In this twin flame connection, where is the divine feminine at this point? And then I'll move on to the other ones as a collective again. Because I'm telling you, I'm feeling very strongly that the left side here is feminine. Uh, right side is the masculine. But, you know, it's some feminines... Here's the thing. Maybe the feminines were on this side. At, at one point, and now they have moved to this side. They're over here now because they were at a standstill because they needed to release their main focus was their twin and being in union and 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 um, communication and being together. And now they've moved on. They're focusing on themselves. And I think the divine masculine is still kind of caught in that energy in some sort of a karmic lesson and not moving forward right now. That's just how I'm hearing it. But it does not have to be that way, okay? It could very well be, um, you know, vice versa. Maybe with some of the divine masculines are saying, what are you talking about? My divine feminine is the one that's lagging. So, again, take it as it resonates. Hmm. Travel. Okay, you got the spider. Travel will open up new possibilities and one special connection. Let me just... <laughs> I don't know why I'm hearing Divine Feminine. It's like the, the Black Widow who's waiting, waiting for the mate to catch in a web. You've webbed, you have webbed, you have built your web. And you're just waiting. You're just waiting. I mean, you are going about... Your business. Travel? Well, okay. Maybe you're going to travel. Maybe some of you divine feminists are going to... Well, be careful now. We all got that coronavirus thing going on. And I don't know. I, I sometimes I think that the, the media hypes it up and makes it so much more. But I don't want to I don't want to put light on it either. Because, if you know, some people are dying from it. And that's unfortunate. Uh, I know they're elderly people, but still. Um, so their, their immune systems probably aren't as strong. But I don't want to put light on it because, you know, I mean, everything's shutting down. And better to be safe than sorry, actually. I mean, it's, it's insane, you know. People are buying toilet paper. and hand, I don't know where you are in the world. I'm in California, and it's like, you can, toilet paper and hand sanitizer. Somebody went through a store and showed all the shelves that were empty. And it's like, it's like we're going through some sort of a nuclear crisis or something. But I'm just saying. So be careful if you're traveling. Make sure you don't, you know, you don't touch a whole lot of things and try to keep to yourself. Hand sanitizer. I mean, I don't know what precautions you can take. I don't know enough about the virus, but... Um, I'm like that anyways. I wash my hands and, and on a regular basis. But but anyways, travel will open up new possibilities and one special connection. So, okay, Divine Feminines. <clears throat> because 
Oh, dude, I got a spider in here. <laughs> oh, my God. I just realized. I looked up, and in the, it's not like terribly big, but there's this black spider. Whoa. It's a sign, Divine Feminines. It's a sign, because it's right in front of me. Oh, it's moving. <laughs> Motherfucker, it's moving. <laughs> you are going to travel. <laughs> it's moving. I didn't mean you. Stay over there, because it's going towards my bed. <laughs> It's little though. All right, I'll 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 survive as long as it doesn't bite. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I'm distracted. Okay, no, don't look. That's going towards my window. Maybe it'll it'll go out. I don't know. Oh, geez. Okay, travel will open up. <laughs> I'm sorry. Travel will open up new possibilities. One special connection. Okay, divine feminine. Um, I mean seriously, maybe you are gonna travel. I mean it's just weird. I saw a spider and he just started moving out of nowhere. He just started moving across the wall. I think it's a sign. <laughs> I think it's a sign. And I'm thinking, Divine Feminine, you're moving on. So your one special connection, I don't hear it's your your person, your twin flame. I'm hearing this is somebody new for you. And you're moving on. You know, basically it's like, again, and you're not supposed to wait for your twin flame, you know. And just so on the bottom, you have the bat. Again, flying. You're going to fly. You going on a plane trip? You have the power to transcend failure and move into a limitless future. All right? But this isn't really a failure. It's just, um, you know, we're not supposed to focus on our twins. Uh, I, I need a card for the Divine Masculine, please. Um, we're not supposed to focus on our twins. So this is exactly what you're supposed to be doing, Divine Feminine. If you are at this stage of getting your life together and moving on, <clears throat> and, you know, honestly, because it is a little frustrating when you know your twin is in a karmic situation, and it's like you're moving at a much slower pace than I am, and it's a little frustrating. You know, it's not that we have to be in union right now, but come on, man. You know, I'd like to I'd like to be in union before we all die. <laughs> all right. It's my masculines. Hmm. Well, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, Lordy. You know anything about a sloth? You know how slow they move? Mm-hmm. There you go. It says, consider the smallness of your needs and treasure what you possess. So, Divine Feminine, you know, just go on with your life right now. He's moving in the snail space. Uh, you know, it's just going to take him a little longer to figure things out. Just saying. You know, and you know, it's your twin. It's unconditional love. You just got to accept their journey is different than yours. You know, the Divine Masculine's journey can be very different than the Divine Feminine's. Um, it's funny how usually men you know, um, they're more analytical and, and usually they're about action. And when it comes to something like this, I guess because it's emotional, they don't really, uh, move forward on these kind of things. Yeah. So uh, divine masculines, um, if they're, if you're watching in divine masculines, consider the smallness of your needs and treasure what you possess. I'm almost seeing that you're clinging on to this because you just don't want to be alone but do you really have to have this person in your life what did you do before this person were you always in a relationship um i mean just saying consider the smallest of your needs and it's almost like the child hanging on to the other person it's like it's almost like childish behavior that i'm not adult enough to be on my own and that isn't a dig that isn't to be mean i'm just saying that treasure what you possess just do your thing you know, just do your own thing. The crocodile. You know what that says on the bottom? The alchemy of energy teaches that death will always yield new life. And this is like the death card to me in a reading. Um, something needs to end in order for you to transform. That's all the death card is all about. The alchemy of energy teaches that death will always yield new life. So divine masculine, if this is you, whomever this resonates for, even divine feminine, you need to release something. You don't realize that by you're at a standstill. By releasing this, and I think it's a karmic relationship, you will not only open up the portals and gateways to move closer to your twin flame and be in union, you're going to open up other things. You're going to be reborn. You don't realize how much this is dragging you down. I know you may think you do. I don't think you know the extreme, really. It's affecting everything. I'm thinking that you may be trying to resist thinking about it, okay? But really, divine people here, divine people, <laughs> divine masculine, if this is you, whomever this is for, you need to release something. And for those over here, good job. Keep moving forward. 
um, you know, you're, you're impatient with your twin, something's out of balance, you're just going to have to let that go. And you're just going to have to move on with your life, see other people. And if you are traveling, you may very well. And with this picture with the spider and the web, I think that this person is going to be smitten with you. I'm going to get a um, Oracle of the Fairies. These are kind of lighthearted, but still have, you know, wisdom in them. They're not like foo-foo, too foo-foo. They do have wisdom in them. Just to get like a, a collective energy here. All right. Twin Flamers, and for those of you who are still here, hopefully you are, um, if, you, if this res does resonate and you like it, please subscribe and um, hit that bell button and hit the, smash that like button so I can get some feedback. I appreciate that very much. So I know that, that you like Twin Flame readings or and comment. That was very helpful. If you like Twin Flame readings, I will do more of them. You know, I don't want to put too many out because if, if you know, if the people are like, well, I'm not a Twin Flame journey, so I'm kind of trying to do what... But I'm very, very much called to do the Twin Flame. But if you do enjoy these, please comment. Please smash that like button. And I encourage you to subscribe. So And, and hit that bell button. Subscribe and join the tribe. Hit the bell button so you can know when other videos come out. And, well, this one wanted to come out. And share. Um, share with other people. Maybe people you know who are in the Twin Flame reading. All right, <clears throat> this is the card that came out. This is the bottom of the deck. Flourish. The Lotus Flower Fairy tells you to learn from experience and shed your inner light on any unclear areas of your life and those of others. I'll say that again. The Lotus Flower Fairy tells you to learn from experience and shed your inner light on any unclear areas of your life or those of others. <clears throat> For those on this side, if you're the Divine Feminine, or for those who ever resonate with this side, just the leadership success. Maybe this isn't something you went through, but not anymore. You've moved forward. Um, by moving forward, again, you are leading by example. All right? They're going to see how your life is successful. Um, and they will feel that. But that may also encourage them, shed light on them. And they'll be like, you know what? I need to do that, too. I need to do that, too. And, I, again, you're not going to realize it. Because you do have a, a spiritual... A soul connection that's not on the earthly connection. You know what I mean? Excuse me. It's in the fifth dimension. I don't mean the band for any old people. <laughs> fifth dimension. Temptation is the card that came out. Which is interesting. Are you in denial about an unhealthy habit? Perhaps the one, one that makes you feel guilty. This fairy says you have the power to overcome temptation. Wherever it's guys. Um... Those on this side, um, again, if it's the Divine Feminine, but it doesn't have to be, um, you may be tempted to contact your Twin Flame. I'm hearing that's not advisable right now. Not at this time. They need to work through all this gunk. You know? And if you, are in, if you are in connection with your Twin Flame presently, in communication, that's all fine and dandy, but um, they need to work through this on their own. You cannot help them. Uh, this it has to be something that they work out. Because if they do something... Uh, that doesn't come from within them, they're still not learning the lesson. And they're going to have to do it all over again. And I know as a twin, you want to help your person. I know my twin flame, I do feel uh, very strongly that there's something not going. I think he's in a karmic relationship. I'm not even sure if it's a relationship, but whatever. But I feel it very strongly. And, I, you know, I love him to death, regardless if we're together or not. It doesn't even matter. We're friends. We're on good terms. We don't really talk very often. We don't hang out like we used to, but which I miss. But... I love him to death, so I, I don't really want him to be hurt. I don't want him to be, you know, if he's going through something. I want to be there for him as a friend. But it's something he has to work out on his own, you know, and hopefully we'll be, you know, communication again soon. We usually, you know, I contact him his birthdays. He's a Gemini um, in June, and then my birthday's in July. So um, that's about the only time we really, and I just saw him not too long ago. Sometimes we, we run the same circles, sort of, so we do run it. And when we do, it's like nothing's ever... Time hasn't even passed. Uh, but it, we don't really hang out like we used to, so it's kind of a bummer. But um, temptation. Um, so if that's the case, hold off right now. If you're, you know, and if you are in communication, just be a friend. Uh, but don't try to. This is their stuff to work through. Um, either, you know, again, either way. Um, but, you know, it says maybe you have an unhealthy habit. You know? Maybe this person, it maybe it isn't, if it isn't a karmic relationship, or it could be, maybe it's a codependent relationship. Maybe somebody, maybe your twin has, um, I'm saying an unhealthy habit, like maybe uh, drinking, 
maybe a drug addiction, something like that. Um, maybe they're, you know, to me, an unhealthy habit could be a workaholic. If you work too much, um, you need to sort of release that to balance out your life. So temptation can be a number of things. Um, you know, they could be a player. Maybe they keep entering into all these karmic relationships because they're too much of a player to really um, attract the right people. You know? <laughs> Someone's singing out there. Do you hear that? That's too funny. Well, sometimes you get entertained around here, too. All right. This is the Queen of the Moon Oracle. I'm going to get one card because we just had a full moon. All right. We are in the... I believe we're waiting to give us right now. So we're going towards the new moon. So, whoops. It's a time of purging things. Um, we have... Let me see what we have here. Peace. Okay. Beautiful. I love this. I love this. I love this. It's the Waning Crescent. Peace. Card number 28. Peace. I'm hearing that you both need to make peace with your individual um, situations. You need to make peace with it. This is where you're at, whether it's Divine Feminine or not, or Divine Masculine. You're both at different places right now, and uh, one's moving slower than the other. Some are moving forward and doing very well with that. Um, some are moving a lot slower. Um, so there is an imbalance here as far as the Twin Flame connection. Um, and you have abundance. So on the bottom, abundance and patience. Nice, nice. You're just going to have to be patient with each other. Oh, wow. 36. Card number 36. Uh, that number reminds me of my twin. I won't say why, but it reminds me. And it's card number 38. Um, and really, I mean, there's the full moon. Look at there. Um, that's the hunter moon. We just had the hunter moon. Interesting. Um, abundance. You know what? You both have a lot uh, going on in your lives that to be happy about. So I say focus on that. Uh, for this, For these people who need to release... They need to work through that, and once they release that, I think they're going to see life in a whole new light and really have an appreciation for the things they have around them. <clears throat> and um, patience. A lot of, uh, yeah, and assessing is underneath that. Yeah, I could just keep going here. Assessing. Um, I almost see that as a twin looking through a telescope at their other person, you know. When there's a dark side and a light side. I'm thinking that there's a dark side and a light side to all of us. Negative and positive to all of us, and uh, one side is the it's there's the twin, one side's the masculine, one side's the feminine, and you know you're really looking in the uh, twin flame connection. It's almost like looking through a, to uh, a telescope because your soul is really focused and in, in tune with the other person, but you're just gonna have to be patient. Patience is gonna be key. There's to me like the portal. You know, there's the universe and there's the portal. And that's the spiritual. This is almost like the fifth dimension. I mean, the third dimension. The world, the earth. And this is the fifth dimension. And you you just have to be patient with your other twin if they're moving slower than you. That is the pace that they're going. But for the other twin who is moving slow, you're going to have to pick up the pace a little here. Just a, a little bit because um, you're at a standstill. It's a stagnant situation, and I think you know that. But you're just not wanting to make any type of movement to change that situation so i hope this helped all of you this is longer than i thought it was going to be <clears throat> um sorry <laughs> uh, i hope this helped all of you and if it did please 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 smash the like button yes remy did you hear that smash the like button <laughs> and remy says subscribe and join the tribe I would love to see you again. <laughs> uh, no, really, I would appreciate Just subscribe and, and join the tribe and, you know, uh, see what videos, what messages come up for you. If you want, check out my channel. I have everything on playlists. You go to my playlist, kind of thumb through it, see what you like. And if you do like it, then subscribe then, you know. Um, I would love for you to subscribe now, but, um, you know, maybe you want to check it out first and see. Um, but I do do, I do do, I do a bunch of different videos. Again, daily twin flame, monthly love reads for every zodiac sign. And again, I'm going to try to incorporate it by weekly. I do weekend check-ins. I just did a, a Friday weekend energy. So for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, 
Um, and those can really tie into twin flame journeys. Sometimes that comes up. Love, you know, situations, that comes up. Um, so, you know, check it out. I would appreciate it if you subscribe. And I would definitely appreciate comments and share. Okay, so thank you so much for tuning in. And um, if you're new, I hope you will return. Um, I would love that. Okay, thank you so much. I hope you all have a beautiful day, night, whatever time of day it is for you and wherever you are in the world. All right, thank you so much. Love y'all. Peace out.